Can someone really hack your WhatsApp with just your phone number? It might sound like a plot from a high-stakes spy thriller, but the reality is far more unsettling. In today's digital age, our smartphones are treasure troves of personal information, and WhatsApp, being one of the most popular messaging apps, is a prime target for cyber criminals. It sounds unbelievable, like something out of a spy thriller. Imagine receiving a message that someone has accessed your private conversations, your photos, and even your personal data. The thought alone is enough to send chills down anyone's spine. But the truth is, it's possible. Hackers are constantly evolving, finding new and sophisticated ways to breach our digital defenses. They exploit weaknesses not just in the app itself, but in how we use it. While WhatsApp itself is very secure, hackers are always finding clever ways to exploit vulnerabilities. They might use phishing attacks, social engineering, or even malware to gain access to your account. They use sneaky tactics to gain access to your account, putting your privacy at risk. For instance, they might trick you into revealing your verification code or use SIM swapping to take control of your phone number. This isn't just a problem for celebrities or high-profile individuals. Everyday people like you and me are just as vulnerable. In fact, hackers often target ordinary users because they might be less vigilant about their digital security. Anyone can be a target. It doesn't matter if you're a student, a professional, or a retiree. If you use WhatsApp, you need to be aware of the risks and take steps to protect yourself. That's why it's crucial to understand the methods hackers use and learn how to protect yourself. By staying informed and adopting good security practices, you can significantly reduce the chances of falling victim to these attacks. Stay with me as we delve into the world of WhatsApp hacking, exposing the tricks and techniques used by cyber criminals. We'll explore real-life cases, dissect the methods used, and provide you with practical tips to safeguard your account. Knowledge is your best defense in the fight to keep your digital life secure. By understanding the threats and knowing how to counter them, you can protect your personal information and maintain your privacy in an increasingly connected world. You might be thinking, I'm not important enough to be hacked. But here's the thing. Hackers don't always target specific individuals. They often cast a wide net, hoping to catch as many victims as possible. Your WhatsApp account contains a treasure trove of personal information, your contacts, conversations, photos, videos. Falling victim to a hack could expose you to identity theft, financial loss, blackmail, and reputational damage. Don't wait until it's too late. Take steps now to secure your account and protect your privacy. SIM swapping is a sophisticated attack that targets your mobile phone service. Hackers manipulate your mobile provider into transferring your phone number to a SIM card they control. Once they have your number, they can receive your calls, texts, and, you guessed it, access your WhatsApp account. They do this by gathering personal information about you, often through phishing scams or by buying it on the dark web. They then use this information to impersonate you and convince your mobile provider to switch your number. It's a scary thought, but don't panic. We'll discuss ways to protect yourself from SIM swapping later on. You know those suspicious emails or text messages asking for your personal information? That's phishing. Hackers disguise themselves as trustworthy entities like your bank or a social media platform to trick you into handing over sensitive data. They might send you a link that looks official but actually leads to a fake website. This website might mimic WhatsApp's login page, prompting you to enter your phone number and verification code. And just like that, your account is compromised. Remember, legitimate companies will never ask for your password or verification codes through email or text. Be wary of any unsolicited messages requesting personal information. Section 5. Social Engineering Tricking Your Way In In this section, we will delve into the art of deception and manipulation where hackers exploit human psychology to gain unauthorized access to sensitive information. This is not about hacking systems, but hacking people. Social engineering plays on human psychology, exploiting our trust and helpfulness to gain access to our information. It's a sophisticated form of manipulation where the attacker uses various psychological tricks to deceive individuals into divulging confidential information or performing actions that compromise security. Hackers use various techniques, including pretexting, baiting, and quid pro quo. Each method is designed to exploit different aspects of human behavior and psychology. Understanding these techniques can help you recognize and defend against them. 
Pretexting involves inventing a scenario to create a sense of urgency or obligation, like pretending to be a distressed friend needing help. The attacker creates a believable story to gain the victim's trust and manipulate them into providing sensitive information or access. Baiting offers something enticing, like a free gift card or exclusive content, to lure you into a trap. The promise of a reward is used to trick individuals into clicking on malicious links or downloading harmful software. Quid Pro Quo offers a service in exchange for information, such as helping you with a technical problem in exchange for your WhatsApp verification code. This technique preys on the victim's need for assistance, making them more likely to comply with the request. Always be cautious about who you trust online, and be wary of anyone asking for personal information or access to your accounts. Remember, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Stay vigilant and protect your personal information at all costs. Section 6. Real World Dangers – WhatsApp Hacks in Action In 2019, a vulnerability in WhatsApp allowed hackers to install spyware on phones simply by making a WhatsApp call. The spyware could access the target's messages, camera and microphone, effectively turning their phone into a surveillance device. This attack highlighted the very real dangers of WhatsApp hacking, demonstrating how vulnerabilities can be exploited to gain complete access to a user's device and personal information. Section 7. Protecting your WhatsApp. Stay safe online. Now that you understand the threats, let's discuss how to protect yourself. One of the most effective ways to secure your WhatsApp account is to enable two-factor authentication. This feature adds an extra layer of security by requiring not just your password, but also a unique code generated by an authentication app. This means that even if someone manages to get hold of your password, they would still need the code from your phone to access your account. This additional step can make a significant difference in keeping your account safe. It's a simple yet powerful tool to prevent unauthorized access. Next, always be wary of suspicious links and messages. Cybercriminals often use phishing tactics to trick you into clicking on malicious links or downloading harmful attachments. These can compromise your personal information or even take control of your device. If you receive a message from an unknown sender, or if something seems off about a message from a known contact, it's best to avoid clicking on any links or downloading attachments. Always verify the source before taking any action. Another important aspect of staying safe online is to beware of social engineering tactics. These are strategies used by cybercriminals to manipulate you into giving away personal information or access to your accounts. They might pose as a trusted entity or create a sense of urgency to trick you. Always be suspicious of anyone asking for sensitive information, especially if they are pressuring you to act quickly. Take your time to verify their identity and the legitimacy of their request. Keeping your software updated is another crucial step in protecting your WhatsApp account. Software updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities. By regularly updating your phone's operating system and WhatsApp, you ensure that you have the latest protections against potential threats. Make it a habit to check for updates and install them as soon as they become available. This simple practice can go a long way in safeguarding your data. If you ever suspect that your SIM card has been swapped, it's crucial to contact your mobile provider immediately. SIM swapping is a technique used by hackers to take control of your phone number which can then be used to access your accounts. By alerting your mobile provider, you can take steps to secure your number and prevent unauthorized access. They can help you regain control and protect your accounts from further harm. By following these tips, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to WhatsApp hacking. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and take proactive steps to protect your online presence. Your security is in your hands. Section 8. The Battle for Your Privacy – Ongoing Concerns While WhatsApp implements strong security measures, the fight for online privacy is an ongoing battle. Hackers are constantly developing new techniques to exploit vulnerabilities and gain access to our personal information. It's crucial to stay informed about the latest threats and continuously update your security practices. Remember, your online safety is a shared responsibility. Section 9. Conclusion. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. The digital world offers incredible opportunities for communication and connection. 
but it also presents new challenges to our privacy and security. By understanding the methods used by hackers and adopting proactive security measures, you can navigate the digital landscape with confidence. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe. Your privacy is worth protecting.